on my, on my hey guys, everybody, welcome to my grandmother's studio. I'm Jackie, and for those who haven't met my grandmother, she is... Nancy Sharp. Yes, and so we are live today in her studio. Um, we are going to be making a fun craft that can be given as a Mother's Day gift or a any gift because people deserve gifts all year long even if it's not just on Mother's Day. So um, for those who don't know, she is a sculptor of Make Way for Ducklings in the Public Garden. So we thought it was only fit to make a little duck painting because you're, you're the duck lady, right? Absolutely. Okay, I'm just going to pull up the paint bar on our Facebook page. That way if anyone has signs in and you know comments, sometimes I can see it on my phone, sometimes not as much. But we're using something called StreamYard today. Um, which is kind of cool. It allows us to post comments on here. However, you have to accept it for me to be able to see your comments. So comment, let us know that you're here and um, you know, we're psyched. All right, so we're gonna get started. We're gonna, we're gonna chat while we create. So the idea here is we're going to make a craft that can be done with any materials you have at your house. So today we're using canvas and we're using our paints, but you can actually do this with just um, markers or pencils. Um, it's super, super easy. So we're going to show you different alternatives of what you guys can do. And we're just going to chat about art as, you know, growing up with art in our family, how you raise your kids with art. We're going to talk about how I'm raising my kids with art, how my parents raised me with art, and how important it is. And um, we're also going to talk about her book, which if you guys don't know, she made this amazing book about, it's called Ducks on Parade, very cute name, and um, it's all the little ducks in costume. So we're going to talk about a lot of things today and if anyone has any questions please feel free to post them here. So let's get started so we don't waste any time. Okay now number one question we always get is how do you do art with kids and not make a disaster mess? Oh. What's well, your, what would you say? You've got to make a mess. If you don't make a mess it's no fun. Okay that's a great answer. Now what if you get a type A parent who's like ah, I can't do messes. Well, I guess you get some newspaper or you get something to sort of yeah. take care of. But well, she hasn't had 10 years to think about this. Like, that's the reason for our career. So, for the paper. So, let me, I'll tell you what my answer is. And my answer is you can have the mess, like she said, and have all the paints and have all the stuff. Or you don't have to do that. You could also just make art with markers. So, um, you don't need to use paints. You could use something like dot markers, which I'm going to show you. If you haven't heard of these, why didn't you tell me? Well, I, I, you didn't know. I just was a trick question. So <laughs> you don't have to use paint. You can use dot markers. These are my ultimate favorite. And fun hack, you can buy these at Home Goods. Um, they're cheaper there because they're pretty expensive if you get them at like Michael's. But Home Goods always has them and they're discounted there. So check them out. Okay, so I'll show you how you can do this both ways. So what we're going to do to start is we're going to make the duck. Now, you might be intimidated by this thinking, how did she make the duck? Well, if you don't have colored paper at home, but you just have white paper and you just have paint, or you just have white paper and you have markers, or you have dot markers, what you can do is take your white paper, and I'm going to put my grandmother to the test to give her a job right now. You're going to take this white paper, and you're going to take paint. And I don't, you don't need to use anything fancy. These little things here range anywhere from like 50 cents to $1.50. You can buy them at Michael's, you can get them anywhere. So we're not using fancy paint with kids because they don't need fancy paint. So we're gonna take some yellow. We're just gonna squirt it on the page like this, like that, all right? And I'm gonna give her, this is like the fancy well-known artist, Nancy Schur. Her job is just to paint this page yellow. All your, that's all you're doing, back and forth. I think I could do that. I think she can do I'm it. Gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna try. Yeah, great work. Oh, already off to a good start. Okay. okay, so now the next thing I'm gonna do, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint this paper and um, you, you don't have to even cover the edges, you can just cover the middle section so that way you don't get it on your table. Okay. Now for parents who are nervous about getting it on their tables at home, uh, you can always put down newspaper, you can do lots of things so that you can protect your table at home. I'm really doing this, this is easy. This is really easy, look she can do it, it's I amazing. Can, You're doing a great job, I'm really proud of you. Oh, I know. <laughs> awesome. And it's fun. And it's fun, right? Yeah, right. Easy. Cool. cool. All right, at any of those extra clumps, we can move to another section. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to paint another area. So I'm teaching you this because a lot of people might feel stressed that they don't have colored paper. And if you buy those big packs at Michael's, uh, those can range, those can be like 20 bucks. And so if you don't want to spend the money, then you can make your own colored paper, which is what we're doing here. So, you know, also if it's like a rainy day and you have the paint at home and you have the markers, but you don't want to go out to even CVS to get watercolor, you know, you can, you can literally do this with whatever materials you have at home. All right, now the next thing... So any excess paint that you have on there, you can just wipe on the paper towel. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to make um, 
one area a little bit darker. So I'm actually going to put a little bit of orange right here in this area. Unless you, are you okay with that? Yeah. Okay, we're going to make the wing slightly darker here. So a little bit of a darker wing. Oh, my mom is on here. She says, great job, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that little bit of orange, we're just going to mix that in with the paint to make a slightly, oh, yeah, we're just going to, it's going to be like a slightly oh, shade, darker shade. Okay. So we're making our wing have a slightly darker shade of yellow. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, hi, Monica. Monica works with three. Oh, <laughs> perfect. So you just need a little section that's perfect. That's Excellent. Good. Yeah. Okay. Great job. Wow. Yeah, I'm so you, did, you should go into art. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're going to let this dry. Okay. All right. Well done here. So she, there's, this one is just going to dry. Okay. Now, while that's drying, I'm gonna put you to, you're going to do another little section. Oh, my goodness. Is it okay that you have paint there? Oh, yeah. That it's okay. Okay. All right. Cool. We'll wipe it later. I made right. a mess, but I like messes. That's true. All right, that's you can just do a little section. That's going to be the beak. Uh, oh, just literally the just the beak. That's it. Okay. Perfect. Okay. okay, now we're going to do another section. This is going to be the umbrella. So this is going to be a little bit bigger. So notice how we're like, we're not taking up a lot of paper. We're not using a lot. There you go. So that's going to be a little bit bigger. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. This is so much fun. I want to go to your class. <laughs> I'm not paying you to say that, I swear. <laughs> All right. Right? It's so fun. <laughs> All right, now we're going to do one more thing. So let that dry. Now we're going to make the rain boots. And also, you can do any color that you want. So today, we're looking at like really springy colors. So we're using pinks and oranges and yellows, which actually really match your book, if I do say so myself. I didn't do that intentionally, but you know, I think you did. maybe I did subconsciously. <laughs> um, okay, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to make little rain boots. Now, rain boots, we made these with, we made purple. Um, but you know what? I don't think I brought purple paint. So let's do, we can make, ah, I did, I did. She always has everything. Well, she is so clever. My I, granddaughter. Yeah, oh, she's so clever. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Annie. Um, okay, so we're going to do one more piece. Now, the other thing is you can use computer paper. Um, I would highly suggest something like this. This is called a mixed media pad. This is a great thing. So for anyone who's in the Paint Bar membership, we always advise getting this. And I say get this to the parents as well. This is a mixed media pad. So that means you can use anything on it. You can use watercolor. You can use pen and ink. You can use paint. Um, I use it to, sometimes I'll use it just as a palette for my paint. Sometimes I use it to create ideas for painting. Oh, great. I also take notes in it. Um, here are some sketches for paintings coming up. So I use it for everything, and that's what we're doing here. Oh, that's, it's nice. It feels good, too. It has a nice yeah. piece of little body. Exactly. It. Yeah. It's kind of, it's um, like cardstock paper. Yeah. So yeah. Um, why don't we use, here, we'll just, we'll just use this because I'm not going to use this again. So we're going to paint. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know, you can take your bills and paint on your bills. You do not need to, so we're trying to emphasize how little you need to do art with kids. There's no barrier of entry. Um, and honestly, kids just want to paint on the walls anyway, so. <laughs> and you really ought to let them, as a matter of fact. Yeah. You know, my daughter, my eldest daughter, Ellen, painted her in her bedroom. She painted the whole That's wall true. with a great big mural when she was like eight years old. It's still there. And it's still there. Yeah. So she had fun painting on the wall. It's really fun. If you can, yeah, so if you don't want to use actual paint on a wall, another idea that you could do that's removable is painter's tape. Yeah. So we did that at the beginning of the pandemic when we were like, what do we do? And everything is closed. We use painter's tape and let Charlie just go to town. Whatever. What a good idea. Well, you know, I get my ideas from you. Okay, so now that probably has some yellow on it. So let's wipe the off. You can use another paintbrush if you want to, or oh, you don't care. This is okay. See, now I get my non-type A gene from this one. Yeah, right. So we're just going to mix. So this is some, um, these are Blick paints. This is what I use for my own painting, what we use at the paint bar. And we put them into ketchup bottles. So like buy, we buy the big half gallons, and then we pour them into ketchup bottles so they're easy to use and we don't run out. It's a fun hack that we use. So this is called fluorescent purple, and this one is phthalo blue. All right, so you're just going to mix that together and paint a little square and maybe a little bit bigger. You can, go, you can paint over anything on this. Okay. And those are going to be our rain boots. Okay. And then we're pretty much ready to... Wow. Well, we, we have one more thing to do after this. Oh, okay. Maybe get that area too. Okay. Excellent. Okay. I think that's good. All right. So I now... I've never had so much fun in my life. <laughs> this is... We actually have never done this together before. But I don't use paint, I use clay. It's well, that's so different. It's so different. This is so fast. It's, clay is so, so slow. It's so different. I so we can talk about, we can do another interview where you talk about the process. We can clean that off now. Okay. Would you guys, if you are interested in the comments, let us know, would you be interested to hearing about, hear about her process? Because it's extremely different from what we do at the paint bar. So, 
Okay, so now what we're going to do, so what we, we do the paper first that has time to dry because we're going to be cutting it, and acrylic paint dries so quickly, so um, it won't take very long at all. So now we're going to paint our canvas. And this is fun because you can, kids can just go wild with this, and they can um, use their fingers if they want to. If you don't have a paintbrush, they can just like smush it everywhere. If you don't have a canvas, you can just use a regular sheet of paper. You can take a bill, flip it over. You can use, you can take, another thing you can do is take the, take like a wheat thins box, cut out the cardboard, use that. So you can literally use anything in your house. Well, that's a good way to recycle things too. Right. It's good to take, you know what, when you finish with some cold cereal, yes. take those boxes yes. inside out. There, there you go, perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna just paint this whole thing. Do -do -do. You want me to do that? Yeah, you're gonna do that, that, whole that whole thing. Oh, now good. while you do that, Look, she's very popular. Her phone is ringing. Hold on, I'm just gonna um, take off a little bit of the excess yellow here so it dries a little faster. I put on a little bit too much. Oh, that's okay. Okay. I will forgive you. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Look at how fast. So while you do that, why don't you tell people about your book? So tell us about the new book, how you kind of came up with the idea. Oh. It's so cute. Well, for years, people have been sending me these pictures. As your grandmothers particularly send me pictures of their grandchildren on the guts. So I have all these pictures of kids on ducks. But eventually they started sending me pictures of the ducks that are all dressed up. And I thought, oh my goodness, this is amazing. I had hundreds and hundreds of pictures of kids on ducks and they were all dressed up sometimes, not all the time. So anyway, that was the what happened when we decided to do this wonderful book. So my book is nothing but photographs of the ducks dressed up, and it starts way back in 19, before probably, probably most of you were even born, in, 19, <laughs> in 1987, yeah. when we had the first birthday party. And that's oh. when that the first picture of the dress up. Which I believe I was in that. I was at that party. You were at that party. So. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to show you guys, well, here's my cute grandmother. There she is. And here we go. Here's some cute pictures. Can you find me in that picture? Well, which one am I in? This one. I'm in this picture. Can you find me? I'll show you. So the first birthday party we were Oops. the kids had on yeah. little. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> <laughs> and then from then on, somehow, when there was an occasion, people started dressing up the ducks. So we decided, Sue Raymond, who was the chief um, director of Brandeis Press, she and I were friends because we, she had me, do you want to show this? And she had me write this book, which is all about my work. And then we, she and I were together and she became head of the Brandeis Press. And we um, decided it would really be fun to do a book um, just with photographs. So that's how okay. it all happened. And now it's just come out. It's probably the best, best, best present for Mother's Day. Or as you said, anytime. I know. It's Mother's Day should be celebrated all year long. I agree. Because moms do a lot. And Grandmother's um, Day should be double all year long. At least double every <laughs> Yeah, I agree. But um, yeah, no, we're going to be, I, mean, I have a few people in mind who might be receiving this book. So, all right, let's get going. So now with this dries, um, the next thing that we're going to do is, so a few things we could do. So number one, if you want to get like really mixed media, um, okay, actually pause. Another question I get from parents with little kids is they say, how can I do something that's going to hold my kids' attention for a long period of time, right? And the truth is they're little. They're not going to have an attention span for a long period. But what they're really going to do is going from one thing to the next and one thing to the next. So when we used to do our, when the studio was open and we did our toddler classes, we would have a sta different stations. So you can have one station is your painting station, one station is your tissue paper station, one station is your glue station. And also it doesn't all have to happen at one time. Like we made a, a project for my mother-in-law whose birthday was last week and we did half the project. Now this is very organized thinking and not your typical Jackie shown here, but we did half the project at the day before and then the next half the following day. So we got two craft projects, two different days, fantastic project, okay? So I'm saying that because to really make this take a long time, you can have them paint, have the kids paint the whole background, then have them grab some tissue paper. Now, I'm going to show you all this tissue paper. I have not purchased any of this during the holiday season, or if you have a birthday, or if you have a child, like any occasion, people give you tissue paper. Literally, I have not bought any of this. 
So my number one suggestion is not to be a hoarder, because an art, as an artist, we don't want to throw anything away, but I have a special box just for tissue paper and um, also gift bags, because why ever buy a gift bag, also people are going to give it to you. So um, anyone who gets a gift from me, I never buy your gift bag. <laughs> okay, so that is that. So this is drying. So if you have a little kid and you want a second activity, take him to another, piece of, another table. You can take um, tissue paper like this. You can literally you can cut it up. You can rip it up. You can put it right on top. You can do um, like a, what's it called, Mod Podge or um, mixed media. So, you know, that's another idea. So I actually did that on here. It's kind of hard to see, but that's something you could do. We don't need to do that today because it takes some more time, but that's one other idea. Okay? Put this over here for right now. You ruined I ruined her. I ruined her canvas. Okay. So now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make, we're going to cut out the shapes for our duck. So things are mostly dry now, and we're going to cut them up. Um, if you're interested in getting a template for this duck for you to do this project at home, and also if you're interested in me writing out directions for you, write in the comments, put, um, write, write, what we, directions. <laughs> Comment with the word directions, and I will respond to you with uh, written out instructions, not today, tomorrow, on how to do this project. All right, so we're going to cut out a circle. Right, so everything that when you make a duck is just basic. Oops, wait, hold on. This is, that's going to be great. Okay, so we need to make a head. So we have to make, so this bottom here, this is going to be our big um, body first. Let's make the body first. So to make the body, we do a smiley face. So ducks are really simple. They're just smiley face and circle. Okay, so we did a, like a U on top and then another U on the bottom. Like this. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I learned my best tricks from you. I, I will say, growing up, I always remember that you had markers in your house. You always had markers and crayons and paper Absolutely. in the kitchen, and we always did crafts. Or two people in the kitchen, so when I was cooking, people could do something different. And yeah. That, instead of making me burn things, they were right. making busy. We would be occupied. And also, another idea that I've been thinking about with Charlie that you said last time we spoke is if you want to take your kids to the museum or you want to take them on a walk, Tell them what you said to me. Oh, well, I used to always take my kids to the zoo and we go with a pencil and paper. Most people don't like you to have pens, so you don't use pens, but crayons and, and uh, pencils are good. And so they would always take a pad with them and they would draw. And we would go to the museum. In those days, they let you. I don't know when they still would. But my kids grew up with pencils and papers. And, and two of them turned out to be artists and two of them are not, but they're very artistic. Right. And they appreciate what we did. So I want to clarify what you said. So two of them turned out to be artists, which means that's what you're doing for a career. But the other two who did not turn out to be artists are very creative people. Right. They are very good at doing art, and they're outside of the box thinkers. So you know what we're really trying to teach people at the paint bar, and we even have a new idea, which we can talk about in one second once I perfect this circle head. How can um, you make a circle when you don't have a way of doing it? You do it by eye. I do it by eye. You so, are so clever. I mean, thank you. I mean, look what you do. <laughs> <laughs> so it is not always the easiest. If you don't have the ability to make a perfect circle at home, it which doesn't have to be. It's perfect. not. This is not perfect at all. It might look it, but it's a thousand percent not. Find something to trace. There's no shame in tracing. You're not cheating. Um, you know. You learned that for me too. It's yes. Not cheating. Not cheating. Not cheating. Not cheating. Not oh, we got someone saying nice. directions. <laughs> Marianne, she's from Michigan. Hi, Marianne. Oh, yep. Hi, Marianne. Great to see you on here. Okay, so now. Um, if the paint is wet, you can actually stick this right on top of the paint. Um, I am going to cut out everything, and then I'm going to put down some sparkly glue. I'm going to tell you why I'm using sparkly glue. Not because it's cute and fun, which it is. It's because I didn't have any other glue at home when I was doing this. So that's what we chose. Oh, I'm so, you some. Well, I did this last night at midnight, okay. and you weren't with me. So. <laughs> um, okay, so we have our smiley face for the body. We have our circle for the head. When we make the wing... The wing is going to be applied separately because we have our little um, like hook for the rainbow for the um, umbrella, and that wing is kind of like a teardrop shape. Okay, so now it's in the middle of this paper. And you're like, how do I get there? Well, we're done making the rest of our stuff with the yellow, so we're done with the yellow. If you want, you can make a whole other. You can just make way for ducklings and make lots of little ducks if you want to. I don't know if you've heard of that book, Make Way for Ducklings. There are but... only eight babies. Yes, eight baby ducklings. That's and a lot more children than I'll ever have. Yeah, so. Jack. <laughs> Jack. Pad, flat, mat, nag, wag, pad. All of them. 
Now, how can people remember the names to them? What's because the trick? Because they're alphabetical. Who knew? with J, like in Jackie. Like in Jackie. There you go. Awesome. All right. So I'm going to make this. I didn't know that. I remember learning that trick. And, and like when you tell people, here are all the names. If you just work them out, people are amazed. And then when they learn it's alphabetical, it's not as hard. Okay. So there you go. This is a teardrop that kind of arches upwards. Okay. So if you want to, in the directions, I mean, in the comments, write directions. I'll send you a template and the directions on how to make this painting, whether you're watching this live or on replay. Um, I'll take, we can always send you directions. Okay. So we have the wing, the head and the body and now we're done with our yellow so i'm going to put this on the floor if you are not if you're a little more type a have a garbage can nearby but if you're in my studio i don't mind a mess and we're in my studio so everything is a bit there you a go. mess right well it's pretty organized it's very or it's an organized mess it's an organized mess that's exactly what i wrote in the post today so i posted about this on my instagram account and i said that you know doing art with kids is all about organized chaos <laughs> All right, now we're just going to make a little triangle. Oh, I love that. That so is so cute. There's a little triangle for the beak. That is adorable. Thanks. <laughs> That's the best form of flattery. Okay, and then we have, this is our pink, this is going to be our umbrella. So I'm going to make a rainbow shape. And also what I love that she did is she painted in all different directions. So you get different texture on there. It kind of looks like um, the Very Hungry Caterpillar, Eric Carl, his artwork. That's what he does. Is he like paints and then cuts the things out. And that's how the very hungry caterpillar was made. So we're inspired right now. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go up, curve it up, and curve it down. Um, and the paint, this is an eight, um, eight by 10 canvas that we're using right now. Okay, so I made a little like, rainbow with a point on top, and then I'm gonna give it some nice little curves. You're very good with the scissors, I must say. Thank you. Uh, yeah, look at that. Perfect. That's, that's, hold on, this I don't part. know if I could do that. You want to try? No. Okay. <laughs> You're so good. You could, but I, you know, I have a lot of practice now. Yeah. We're doing, okay, so here is our idea. So what do you guys think about this new idea? We're going to start a membership. This is for our moms. It's called Raising Little Artists. So, I love it. And it's all about, it's all about, I love this letter, um, how to raise kids with art and the importance of art on in, in life it's not just being you know and then my mom said my mom said something really interesting today so for those who don't know my mom and I run the business together my mom is this is my my mom's mother-in-law so it's not by birth that we're all there's a lot of art in our family but it's not all genetic um she said today she wants to get rid of the negative connotation that comes with the word artistic because when you think of artists, everyone's like, oh, I can't be an artist, and it's so intimidating, or being artistic is intimidating. So we gotta get rid of that. It's just about making art is about, and being creative, just putting new ideas together. It's literally assembling things in new ways. And so it doesn't have to be art, it can be anything. No, but when you talked about creating out of the box, yes. you have to think out of the box. You have to right. think very creatively. It's not artistic necessarily. Right. I mean, how do you make your bed? In do you ever think about how you make it? Well, no, sometimes. I don't make it. Oh. <laughs> I should make it. Well, to the but yes, you're right. I don't need it. But, <laughs> but we, every time we make it, if we do, we, we think about maybe how it's going to look when it's finished. And that's not artistic in that way, but it's right. creative and it's thinking about how I want to look at my bed when it's finished. Right. It's a very simple sort of probably dumb sort of way to think about it. No, it's a great way, way to think about it. <laughs> so we used to leave, leave these, um, I haven't talked about this in a long time, so let me see if I get the story right. But we would lead our, um, I'm also making little booties right now. So little, it's like a rectangle shape with a little smiley face or a little backward C. And on the right back are notes I'm not using anymore, so you know we can always remember. <laughs> we would talk about um, creativity and innovation when we did our in-person, like big corporate events, which uh, our you know corporate business is really what has gotten us through this pandemic. But side note, and we would talk. There's this amazing story, and I'm forgetting the man who's who talked about this. But basically, there's a story about this art teacher who's walking around the classroom and. She's looking at everybody's work and she goes up to this one little girl and she says, what are you making? And the little girl goes, God. And the teacher says, how can you make God? We don't know what God looks like. Uh, and then the little kid goes, well, you will in a second or something. I think I'm, I'm really butchering this story. Maybe she says she doesn't know. Uh, how do you know what God looks like? And the kid goes, basically the idea is that 
Oh, I ruined my story. Mom, if you're watching this, do you remember it? Uh, I don't know. The idea is that kids have so much um, room for creativity in their heads, and we as adults don't. Like, the kid in their mind, they'll draw God. They don't care what you think. They have their own idea, and we as adults don't think that way anymore. Another thing that is we had, a, we were teaching um, a group from Twitter, and the um, we were asking everybody, you know, we always start off like, who thinks of themselves as creative? And this one guy said he was not creative, but the guy across the room was like, dude, you just built a robot. So, you know, people have all different ideas of what creativity is. But if you look up the definition, it's basically just putting two things together that have never been put together before. So. And there's nothing new in the world. It's just the way you do it. True. True, true, true. Yeah. All right. Oh, I love the way you Okay, do. these are little booties. All right, we have some people writing comments. the size of the scissors you're using. Those are big scissors. What are these scissors? These are for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to assemble everything. Um, we're going to use, you could use glue or... Um, How you, about this? Do you need a stick for the so I did, a, I did a stick, good question. I did a stick after it's assembled before I put on the wing. It sounds like a good idea. Thank Just you. In case we want everything to fit. Yes, we want everything to fit. All right, so we're going to take the glue. My, the top, look, I hate pouring glue out this way. I mean, glitter glue, it never works. So just like everything else, I'm just going to plop it on there. And then, ta -da, ta da I'm just going to spread it out. Would you like to spread it out? Oh, you go ahead. I can do it? Okay. Because you know what you're doing. Well, oh, I'm just spreading the whole thing everywhere. That's it. So this has serves two purposes. You know, this is all I'm doing right now. This serves two purposes. One, glitter glue is fantastic and beautiful, and it looks great, and kids love it. And also the other perk of glitter glue, so if you're going to buy a few things, glitter glue is one of those awesome things because kids adore glitter, but glitter is a parent's nightmare because it ends up all over the house and parents hate it. I kids love, love it. it. I didn't know I had glitter and I, I hate it because it yeah. gets everywhere, right? Yeah. So glitter glue. Would you like to have some of my glitter? Um, um, my I glue glitter. Well, yeah. not not at the moment, but maybe actually, maybe for our kids. I mean, we we're just we're doing actually doing in person kids camp this summer, but, and it will be going up this week. So oh, yeah. really, going to do camp this summer? We are doing camp this summer. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, yeah, so we're doing it at the street in Chestnut Hill. No, and they have an outdoor space, and then they have a huge space indoors if we need to go inside. But we're only taking about twelve kids, sixteen if we have room for family members because they can be considered a pod. Oh, that's um, so it's very small, and it'll be up on our website. Only, this week. only one session, or how many sessions? We're doing it just on Tuesdays and Wednesday mornings. So it's not very long. It's Tuesday and Wednesday mornings, uh -huh. in uh, from nine to twelve, oh. and at the street in Chestnut Hill. So we'll have more info on that this week. We'll oh. go live again to talk about it. That is so great. Yes, yeah. kids need to be Those in person. Lucky kids. I, I'm sorry, you're not doing more. You really can't, huh? Uh, I think we need to just start slowly. Yeah. We're well, just, we honestly have such a big virtual business, we don't even have the staff to do too much more. So, yeah, I didn't, I <laughs> right? <laughs> so here's our smiley face we're going to assemble now. So now this is wet. We're going to assemble let this. Me, let me you can hold show, it. Yeah, let me show you how, so you could see what's happening. Can you see it? Yeah. Everybody see it? I think it would be missing. Nice. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Just to remind you, a too. Reminder. <laughs> there you go. There's the bottom. Excellent. All right, now we're going to do the top. So if you want, you can use a smaller brush. And um, if you need to, you can put a little more glue just on like the, you know, just around the perimeter. This. Yeah, you know, if you put things on a perimeter like that, it sticks. You it don't does. have to do the whole thing. Totally. Um, now, I, I learned that, and it's sometimes it's better to do that. And it's, it's it stretches. Hard. Yeah. And sometimes when you put it on the middle, it gets all prickly. So Wise. Wise. <laughs> Yeah. Right, now this I, I, I do other things besides. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but you have a whole process of making the making your work. You have, yeah, you know. but I know a little about your work too. <laughs> uh, you know a lot about everything. No, no. Well, this the perimeters might pop up a little bit, but I'm okay with it but because that it's an umbrella. Because then it sort of looks like it's on top of. There we go. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, and then this I'm gonna just put. So I'm gonna put a little bit on the top of the feet here because the, that's gonna what that's what's hitting the paper. So when I make the feet, I like them to look like they're walking. Like, yeah. yeah. But look at the umbrella. Is that's great? It looks like it's on top. It looks billowy. And so it's covering. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. So now the feet are going here. Let me pull this up so you guys can all see. I like the color of those better than the color on this. Side. I agree. I agree. <laughs> I like that they're more blue versus like that purple color. All right. There you go. Um, okay. So now the next thing we're gonna do is with the black, we're gonna make the little hook. Oh wait, let's first assemble the, let's put the little nose on. Here we go. 
is so cute. All right, there we go. And um, also, we should put in there right now, I'm just going to write how to get to your book. So before we do anything else, I don't want people to leave without us telling them how we can they can purchase your book. So if you're oh, interested. Yeah. Um, and then also, if you are watching this, and you are watching this from the paint bar, when you check out, if you're purchasing her book, which I'm going to put the link in, into um, our comments right now. Here we go. When you purchase, make sure you write the paint bar, and you, or you can write, you know, and you can write write the paint bar, and then she'll know it's coming from you from the paint bar, and then tell her who you like it addressed to. Who this is very special that I will address all the books to whomever you want them addressed. One person had me address twelve different names to twelve different. Oh my people. god! Oh my gosh! But, um, That's twelve books. Yeah, wow. we're selling a lot of books, and it's a great present. It's a for great your present. Mother, mother, day, mother, fun. Friend, sister. Yeah, it doesn't even have to be a mom. Yeah, it could be anybody. Brother. <laughs> right. It's the best. Your it's cousin. such a cute book. It's the best book to have at your table counter, your table. It's the best. Right. And it's so, very reasonable. Yes. I mean, we can tell them it's $14.95. You're reasonable. Get it. Give it away. It's the best. Okay, now, I'm not going to take out a whole palette for, you know, just a little bit of paint. So I'm going to put a little black and a little white because we're going to use those to decorate really quickly. So little black and a little white just on a scrap piece of paper and I'm going to use a smaller brush so I'll take that little, a little brush this is the one that just had the glitter on it I'm going to reuse that I'm going to dip it into the black paint here and I'm going to make I'm going to go from my umbrella and I'm just going to make like a little backwards J like that okay. That's so cute so cute thanks so cute. Right. okay and then also going to use the white we're going to make a little eyeball so first i'm going to start off by making a little oh, white yeah, that's adorable. and then we're going to put some black in it in one second so there's a little white eyeball we're also so this is fun because you can decorate your shoes you can decorate i'm just going to do the same pattern i did on here because i don't want it to be yeah i'm going to think about it too much right now so i'm just going to make little smiley faces like that how come you call them smiley faces? Because that's what people will understand. Like that's what they'll when they make it. They can when I break things down. Idea. Well, that's a good idea to call it that. Then. That's yeah. I know what's the real name for it. Also, I forget. I don't know. There's a name for when you make these. Um, I'll right. think of it in a second. Okay. Right. But whenever I make relation. No. That's a different one. Maybe different. Yeah. When I make things, I like to use terms that people will understand. Yeah, you're right. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna do the rain boots. Maybe instead of polka dots, I'll make stripes. Oh. You like the polka dots? I don't care. I just think it's very it's okay. creative to change your mind. That's <laughs> true. All right, I did a combination. How's that? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> all right. But that's what art's all about, changing your mind. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There you go. Okay, and now let's make a little black dot in the eye. So like this. So do you have any advice for people on how to create more art in their homes? Like what's your number one tip? for someone who doesn't know where to start. I've always said that if you have a lot of materials, paper and crayons or uh, paints and so forth, and have your kids, you know, sit someplace where they can do it and not mess up if you're worried about that with newspaper, you know, while you're cooking or while you, or just whatever. Instead of watching television, it's really fun to do that. When my kids were really little, and it was a warm day, I would give them a big bunch of newspaper and a big bucket of water. Yes. <laughs> and and I'd have them just outside, they just paint this, uh, all this newspaper. That is the best idea. So I tell this, exactly. It's inexpensive. Right. We just, well, not people don't even have newspaper anymore, which is crazy. But just give your kids a paintbrush and some water, and that's all. Well, they can paint the sidewalk. Sure. And they can paint the sidewalk, yeah. And they can do anything, but paint, and then they can paint the refrigerator. They can paint. They can clean your well, floor. Careful. Well, you they just the right. If they just have water. Can't do. Can't do too much. All right, there you go. All right, now the last thing is you can be done there, or if you want to, you have tissue paper. You can put little pieces of tissue paper. So sometimes that's fun. It depends. So kids have different um, attention spans, and if you have a tiny little toddler, they're not going to have the attention span to do all of this. You might have to, you know, this is, it depends how much you, you as the parent or the, you know, guardian or babysitter want to do with them. All right, so I'm going to just do a few little pieces of this pink just to make it look a little more fun. And then we can 
call it a day. All right, so again, the book is in our in the chat. You can purchase it there. Um, whether you watch the re watching now or if you're watching this on replay, just you can order it through that link and then you just say the paint bar in the comments and write who you want to address to and she'll do it for you. You betcha. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, I'll do a few more. I hope you all are get involved in the paint bar and you with, <laughs> with Jackie because she's a she's so always nice. so much fun. Uh, it's, she I like brightens doing my it. day, I tell you. Every time I talk to her, she makes me feel better because she's so upbeat and sweet. Thanks, and, fun. Annie. and she's got these two little kids, and I don't know how she does it. Well, how do you do it? Uh, do I don't really sleep too much, and I only shower on occasion. That's the truth. Oh, dear. I, <laughs> I, happened, to, I happened to my mom made me shower before coming over oh, yesterday. I'm so glad. So. Otherwise, yeah, that would have some problems. <laughs> no, but I have some cute kids. They're awesome. And yeah. I'm learning. You just kind of learn how to do it. And I have, I'm also really lucky that I have so much support. That's true. Well, I had four kids, so I know what it's like. Yeah, I don't time. know how you did four. <laughs> All right, there you go. Do lots of different colors. Change it up if you want. And all right, let's see. Nice job. Oh, thank you, Kathleen. All right, Sheila, hello. Hello to everybody who's joined us today. We hope you had a good time. And I think that's it for today. So you can see every time you do a painting, it might come out a little different. And they look a little different. It should be different. It should be different. And this might be your Mother's Day gift. Oh, good idea. Good idea. <laughs> so make this for someone on Mother's Day. Thank you for joining us. I hope you had a good time. Um, check out her book on the website. You guys can see it one more time here. And uh, I've got nothing else to say. How about you? Oh, goodbye. I love you all. It's fun. Yes. Yeah, all right. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Let's walk here and say bye. Bye-bye. Nope, nope. There we go.